If Nikola Jokic wins mm. the MVP, he's the worst player to win the MVP since oh, Dave Cowens. No. Jokic is about probably about the seventh, sixth, fifth, sixth, seventh best player in the league. I, I don't want to hear ever again that I have to talk about this guy like he's the best player in the league. And the only response was, look at the advanced numbers. Look at the advanced numbers. They said I was an idiot if I said, listen, I think there's seven or eight guys in this league better than me. Still a top 10 player. Of league MVPs over history. Historically speaking, he would be the worst one we've had in 35 years. I took my time to do research, study, care about league MVP for 70 years of NBA history. And now it's just a thing. He's a very good player. He also won one of the weakest MVPs we've ever seen. I don't want to hear anything about Jokic being a front runner for the MVP right now. Joel Embiid, Joel Embiid. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say it one more time. Talk Joel Embiid. Talk about it. And I'm sorry, that got to, that man, that man has got to be right up there if not number hey, one. What I'm saying is, I don't know the criteria no more. 80% of the voters are white American. 20% are others. I wanted to wait to bring this conversation or was it appropriate for first take? And damn it, I'm here, so it's appropriate for first take. Is it Uchi Wally or is it one mic? What? That's what Jay-Z said. I just want to know what song about, are we dancing to? Because I'm walking up into the club, I got my J's on. I didn't know it was a dress code to put on church shoes. So when what? I say that, Stephen A., when I come on here every single time and I ask, what is the criteria for the MVP and how the goalposts is move? I'm asking these questions for a reason. And so when I, when I look at JJ and I hear him talk because he's so big in analytics and he's, he's a historian when it comes down to diving in deep and going back into history and talking about the evolution of the game, why didn't he never bring up this in particular subject? When it comes down to guys winning MVP since 1990, it's only three guys that won the MVP that wasn't top 10 in scoring. Do you know who those three guys were? Who were they? Steve Nash. Jokic and uh Dirk Nowinski. No. Dirk Nowinski. <laughs> what do the, what do those guys have in common? I'll let you sit, I'll let it sit there and marinate. You think about it. Two days later. Dirk Nowitzki led the league in win shares in both 06 and 07. Led the league in offensive win shares in both 06 and 07. So yeah, he wasn't top five or whatever he was, top ten in scoring. His MVP season. The Dallas Mavericks were 67 and 15. They had the best record in the NBA. I'll let you sit. I'll let it sit there and marinate. You think about it. In 05, Steve Nash was the driver of the number one offense in the league, a team that jumped 20 wins and had the best record in the NBA. I'll let you sit. I'll let it sit there and marinate. You think about it. Okay. In 06, 06 to me is one of the weirdest MVP seasons ever. You can make an argument Nash probably shouldn't have won it, but he was still the driver of the number one offense in the league. The two best teams that year, the Detroit Pistons, 64 wins. The San Antonio Spurs, 63 wins. Guess what? They didn't have a top, their, their top scores weren't in the top 20 in the NBA that year. So that was just a strange thing. You could have given it to Kobe. You could have given it to Shaq. You could have given it to Tim Duncan. They gave it to Steve Nash. It was, it's not because he was white. It was just, it was, I'll let you sit, I'll let it sit there and marinate. You think about it. I didn't, it was just a strange thing. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. It was just a strange well, Why did you cut it off at 1990, that's though? Because that, that, that was convenient. That was convenient. I'm just saying, that hold, was on, convenient, hold on, tell me, hold on, tell me, hold on, hold on, tell me, tell me. It was just a strange thing. Get the fuck out of here, man. All that bullshit. It was just a strange thing. I want to say, I want to just say it's something. Back, give, Stephen give A, I, I mean, uh, Stephen A, I mean, I mean no offense to you, and I mean no offense to First Take, because I think this show is extremely valuable. It is an honor to be on this desk every day. It really is. And likewise, it's an honor for you guys to be with us, right? Uh, not as much. But what we've just witnessed is the problem with this show, where we create narratives that do not exist in reality. The implication, what you are implying, that the white voters that vote on NBA are racist, that are they, they favor white people. You I just not, said that. I, I you ju not, yes, you did. I yes, did you did. Not, I did. Yes, not, you did. That I is did exactly not, what you implied, not, Kendrick Perkins. Not, that is exactly not, what you implied. I, I Secondly, not, hold on, hold on. I did not call. I stated the facts. 
I stated the fact, and you're not about to sit up. We all know like what you implied the other day. We all know what you implied this time. Hold on. I stated it. It's the fact. It's the fact. It's the facts. It's the facts. All weekend long, all I've been hearing is that Jokic is the clear-cut favorite to win the MVP. But guess what? CP3 should be the clear-cut favorite. And tried to disrupt their two-man two action. For as well as the Nuggets have played at times, I, Perk, is that you moaning in my ear over and over again? Yeah. Posis a position, a position. Positionless player. He don't have a position. Jokic isn't known for having some kind of dominant post game now. The bio guard and Jokic. Jokic backing in, backing in, double T. Gets up the show. Jokic floats it up and in. The bio lurking. Ball poked away. Jokic gets it back, puts it up and in, and a foul. Red hot compared to Denver. Jokic backs in. And easily scored. Murray Hall off the glass won't go. Tipped in by Jokic. The rebound it. They've got 15 seconds in points. Inside, Jokic. Count it. The Jokic spins against Adebayo. Tough shot. That's not his game. Finds Jokic. Jokic in the paint. Finds Jokic. Martin on him. Jokic drives down a lane. Layup is good. This is the first finals MVP trophy that we're giving out since Bill Russell's passing. And he'd be incredibly pleased. It's another center. Kendrick Perkins! Uh, <laughs> no, you watch him yell at the ref. Watch him yell at the ref. Look at him. No, he's yelling. What do you usually do? Throw it out of bounds. Perk thinks he's Dr. J for a second. A reverse layup going horribly wrong. Let me see that again. Oh, man, that's Texas, man. <laughs> Kendrick Perkins. Come on. Shaq and the Fool legend. Did you know that he can do splits? <laughs> oh! Shaq and the Fool legend. No. Thunder offense, and it doesn't oh, make oh, it. Oh, 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 very oh, happy. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, I got this. I got this. I got this. Yeah, I got this. Oh. this year's Bill Russell Finals MVP goes to Nikola Jokic. I'll let you sit. I'll let it sit there and marinate. You think about it. I, I don't want to hear ever again that I have to talk about this guy like he's the best player in the league. Let's talk about Kendrick Perkins. Nowadays you see him on first take, but most people seem to forget how good the big fella actually was. First things first, he was an elite rim protector. Y'all talk about verticality, well he invented that shit. No easy buckets. At seven feet tall, he could run the break, finish in transition, and pass the ball with precision. He was gifted with strong fundamentals and was unstoppable in the pick and roll. And if that wasn't enough, his handle was on super set. It's safe to say he was the precipice to the modern unicorn, an athletic freak with unlimited skills that may have played in the wrong era. Don't sleep on this man. Carry on. I'll let you sit, I'll let it sit there and marinate. You think about it.